You guys can't do anything without getting into trouble. Getting into trouble! Getting into trouble! You know nothing about trouble! I can tell you about trouble! There's trouble right here! Josh! Hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> to the Jing Bell thingy, the diaries. Well, the Christmas uh, is over, and I did not film my Christmas this year. <laughs> I thought I'd just kind of enjoy it. But I hope you saw the last episode. We had lots of Christmas stuff going on. It was a lot of fun, and um, filming all that stuff was a lot of fun. But now we're back into the normal days. And quite frankly... I'm kind of sort of looking forward to it, but I'm kind of not also, because um, there's a lot coming up. We have three film projects we're doing this year. We released nothing last year, so we have three projects this year, and hopefully they don't go, yeah, like the others did. So, um, aside from that, I have to rebuild some props. Uh, I have to repair my porch. The Adventureland porch went... Puck a blue haze rabbit everywhere. It is in pieces and parts, and I'll tell you why. A few days before Christmas, well, about a week before Christmas, my upstairs neighbor, there's actually somebody who lives in the upper floors of Dark Slade Manor, and his water heater went pina! And the, it went just bad enough where it blew water out the side, <coughs> and it came out and it poured over the Adventureland porch, but it also managed to come through the storage unit, where all my props are. And it didn't just trickle, trickle, drip, or drip. It had some of that. Then the ceiling went, <laughs> and so now um, everything in there, in the front end, got wet. However, all of the stuff, the, the props and everything, were further in the back. They didn't get so bad. However, I did have all my stuff with cardboard was in the front. So, two howevers later, and uh, I have to replace all that. So I got some plastic containers, and I'm going to replace all that. I was going through that cardboard stuff, and I found out that I had saved dozens of VHS films. I mean, stuff that I haven't looked at in forever. So I said, screw this. I'm not even going to bother. I, have, I do have a VHS player, but the only stuff I want to copy is, you know, stuff that's important to me, like... Um, some of my older trips, and um, you know, when I was playing with the with the bands, I got live recordings of that, and some movies that I recorded specifically for me. That I'm going to transfer over to DVD, but everything else went boom, jong, out to the Goodwill. <clears throat> so now I have a heck of a lot more room in my storage unit. I thought I had something important in there. I didn't realize it was just piles of VHS tapes that I'm never going to watch. So. Um, Going to do some rearranging with that, and uh, with the new prop, I need to make a new table Weevil, for the Weevil Fester, because the one I got, I didn't do such a hot job in designing. I made it too wide, or I made the Weevil Fester too narrow, and the plant's too narrow, so I have to change that design. So that's some of the stuff that's coming up. A uh, good hunk of that's going to be in this episode, but it will be going on. And of course, um, I had a four-day... Weekend, four-day holiday, of which two days are normal work days that I don't get paid for. So that kind of narrows down the funds. So I have to do stuff around here. I've been going out and doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't mind telling you. And i got to back off on buying stuff also. And um, so this week, I've got a three-day weekend, one day of which is unpaid. For. So, uh, and I'm going to put the New Year's stuff on here. We're going to a New Year's party like I did last year with the same folks. That ought to be a lot of fun. So, without any further ado, let's get going. It is 6 o'clock in the evening on... Uh, Sunday, December 30th, and I am taking down my Christmas stuff, which I normally wait till New Year's to do, 
But since I had that incident with my upstairs neighbor's water heater blowing and having damage in the storeroom, uh, I figured I'd take it down a little earlier so I can get all things together. And I've gotten, um, I'll show you here, I got these uh, storage containers here. And I'm putting my Christmas stuff inside this. And then I have another one for some other stuff that I have to put away. That got, uh, the boxes got kablutied when they were in the storage unit. And then, oh boy guys, the Adventureland porch has been just obliterated. And I got to get out there and put it back to what it's supposed to look like. Because um, when the water came through from under my storage unit, which is right next to the uh, porch, <coughs> excuse me, the, uh, a lot of that sheetrock that came down, a lot of that melted or dissolved or what have you, and that water came under, and it's all over the place. And I haven't had a chance to fix anything because I've had stuff I had to take out, and it's all leaning against the walls and everything. So it's it's really a mess out there. So i got to take care of that. And I'll probably do some upgrading. I think this is a good, a good time of year to do some upgrading to the Adventureland porch. So I want to get back to this and hopefully get the tree down. Um, I'm going to be doing more filming for Kid Stuff Films, we have three projects that we're doing, and I'm going to start filming in January. So I got to get this area cleared out because, as you know, this is where we put up the the green screen. I have our little mini green screen studio right here. So um, I got to get to that pretty quick too. So uh, yeah, things are happening. A lot of stuff going on right now. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> God, I hope that never happens. My friend's got me the gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> giving people making fun of me. Mm -hmm. See? And he agrees too. Mm -hmm. We all agree. The world looks weird to these. Alright, check out it's the like hair. bird box. I worked right. <laughs> uh, I got two ones and two fives and a two. So what are you going to go with? What are you going to go with? What are you going to go with? Um, go with the two. I'm gonna go with these three. Are you trying for straight? You could have gone for your ones or your fives. Everything in here is orange. Well, you're well, crazy. One, two, five, five, six. Take those and get your fives, yeah. Oh. Two, three, three. You got ten points. Yeah. For a chance. Or it takes six on your threes, you can build that up. Oh yeah, that's true. You only need an extra four, five, or a six. That's the highest four for counting. I well, won the no, first game. Four sixes and a five would be the highest four for counting. I had. But you're close, you're close. So, 307. On four of a kind, or 24 on your sixes. Yeah, 307. You really want to try and get that upper bonus, it really helps. These two guys are going over strategies, I'm just kicking their butts. That's what I do. I buy all my stuff. See, I got five. I got shit from there. I don't get me wrong. That makes five. <coughs> Two plus three is five. He's not wrong. People are so interesting. Answer this. True or false, U.S. President Abraham Lincoln was undefeated as an amateur wrestler. <laughs> false? Uh, moving right along, let's go to Whiskers. Here comes your question. This one's a blockbuster. Spike Lee, Danny Aiello, and Ossie Davis all star in which of these movies? Do the right thing. Grease. Or The Departed. Do the right thing. And I said that before he did. I underestimated you. It's Saturday, January the 6th. And you know what? I have not done a dang thing this year yet. Why? Well, I spent New Year's in bed, sick. I spent New Year's Eve, went out, you know, as you saw, with some friends for a short while. Couldn't stay the whole night. Came home, was in bed, sick. Then on the day after New Year's, I went to work sick. And so on and so on and so on. And I have been dealing with the flu since New Year's Eve. 
I'm still not completely over. You can probably hear it in my voice. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I had planned, I was trying to, you know, get all together so we could, I could do it for a video and so forth. Well, it hasn't happened yet. So if you're wondering why this video got you late, there you go. I was out of commission for a week with illnesses. <coughs> no kind of thing. It's still happening. So anyway, um, hopefully we're kind of past that point, except for the cough, which I will try not to cough all over you. And uh, let's get back to what we were supposed to be doing. As you can see, I'm in the front hallway of Dark Slade Manor. Uh, I got a, a game shoot coming up. One of my cast members is coming in to, uh, to be filmed for that. And uh, <clears throat> it's going to be like a Temple Run type game. It's, right now it's called Monster Chase. It doesn't really have a title. I'm going to be finishing, or starting it actually, when I finish the uh, Weevil Fester World of Peril breakout game. Now, as you know, a little while ago on this video I said that I hadn't been feeling well for those, uh, you know, for that week. Well, it went past that date. And I'm just now actually getting back to semi-normal. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to do or that I was going to do on this video uh, got delayed or put off or I had to do it while no one was looking because I was sick. So some of that's not going to be on here. But I do have more stuff coming. So sit tight and there will be some stuff coming up shortly. But right now i got to go down to the studio room and get ready for the video shoot. Which should be happening in about... 15 minutes, so. Okay, here we go. Ready? Action. One more time without stepping off the green screen. Ready? Action. <laughs> I don't know. No. That's fine. I fell wrong. Ready? <laughs> Action. Stay on the green screen! Stay on the green screen! <laughs> Yes. No, they're on the carpet. Yeah, your feet are landing <laughs> on the carpet right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need those. I don't care. <laughs> I'm Sailor Moon. Okay, <laughs> ready? Action. <laughs> I have a gripe. It's a gripe. Yeah. It's a gripe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Um, uh, yeah, just in case that didn't get the theme. I've got a gripe, and it has to deal with something on YouTube. YouTube, now I'm, I'm a fan of YouTube. I watch a lot of things on YouTube. I get information from there. Not a lot of stuff that I, you know, I'm readily available for. But I do look things up. Um, I'm a sports fan, so I look up sports stuff. I look up, uh, you know, <coughs> independent filmmakers stuff and all that kind of thing. But there's something that people have started doing, or maybe they've been doing it for a while, I don't know. But you'll look up something like, uh, there's 25 greatest instant karma things, or something like that. And it'll show a sequence, and then it'll show the same sequence again, and then it'll show it again, and then on the fourth try, it'll show it in slow motion. You know, there's this little control on the YouTube control panel right below the picture that allows you to go back and look at something a second time. You don't have to copy it three freaking times and once in slow motion. For crying out loud, that's annoying. If there are 25 things on there, I'd like to see what the 25 things are. I don't want to see 125 because everything's copied four times. That would be 100. So I didn't even do the number strike. But my point is, it's ridiculous to constantly make copies. If you want to see the same thing over and over again, just hit the little button, back up a little bit, and you can watch it over and over and over and over again. But man, I tell you, I was watching this one. It was, um, I think it was a, it was a football one, and it was uh, Never Celebrate Too Early. Those are some of my favorites, so Never Celebrate Too Early. <coughs> And they showed this one sequence of 
the uh, receiver, I don't remember which game it is because they do this, a lot of our football receivers do the same thing. And he's running to the, fo to the uh, goal line and before he gets over it, he throws the ball behind it so he can jump over the goal line and go, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, he dropped the ball before he got across the goal line, so score doesn't count, right? It showed the same sequence. Now, first of all, the TV station that had broadcasted showed it four times from four different angles. This Yahoo, who made the copy, showed those four things three more times. We saw the same play over and over and over and over. We only needed to see it the one time. You don't have to see it 72 times because you can just go into the program and back up a little bit and you can see it again. You can see it all day long if you want to. You can change it to slow motion. You can change it to fast motion. You can change the filters and make it look like a cartoon. There's a lot you can do. You don't have to have it done for you. And it's darned annoying because it takes a simple little three minute clip and turns it into ten minutes and you're watching the same thing. It's, kind of, it's like watching reruns immediately after watching the show. Anyway, that kind of thing just bothers me and I want it out. You know, I don't generally throw out a lot of uh, promotions for other YouTube channels. Lord knows I can barely get enough people to watch mine. But uh, I thought it was necessary to bring up this one. Now this is a, a channel that I found by accident. I was looking up something I can't even remember. And I came across this channel it's called Everything Outdoors, and it has very, very small subscription right now. Not a lot of people involved with it. And it's not professionally made or anything like that, and it's not, you know, something that, that's, that jumps out at you. But I'll tell you what it is. It's these two kids, these two boys, they're probably, I don't know, they're either young teens or they're tweens, I don't know. And... They go out to ponds and they go and they, they do, you know, these activities outside. And the thing that I, main thing that I noticed is never seen an iPhone, never seen a tablet. They apparently spend more time outside than they do inside. They are like the anti-now generation. They go outside, they do things, they experience the world, they see it for what it is. And they talk about it in a way only a kid who's exploring and learning and, and finding these things can. It's a great channel. And I would personally like to see the subscription go up a little bit on it. Because it's, uh, it's unique to see kids at this age doing things, you know, that don't require a joystick. And don't require recharging. Like me, I need to recharge it every day, but you know what I mean. Um, so it's called Everything Outdoors. I'm going to put, well, first of all, here's the, oh, there we go. There's the address, and I want to put a link down in the descriptions. So take a look at it. Like I said, don't expect anything, you know, earth-shattering. But do expect to see some kids with imagination, with understanding that there's a big world around them and they want to go out and find out more about it. So, check it out. Life comes at you fast and hard like this. Today is the 18th of January and I still haven't done anything. Well, I've done things, but nothing for you to see because I did them with a camera off. But, I can say that after 18 days, I am finally feeling good. Finally feeling up to snuff, which is a stupid expression, but... And, um, tomorrow I have a short, um, a game shoot, film shoot, and on Sunday uh, I have a film shoot for the new Weeble Huster film with my Aussie cast. So I have a very full weekend, but the problem is, is I have to use the Weeblefester prop, which means I have to use the Weeblefester table, and the Weeblefester table has got issues. I bought a new table. 
it knocks things over when you pick it up. And I'm going to take my old or, um, front room table, which is the card table, and I'm going to make it the new Weeble Fester table. But I don't know if I can wrap that all up by Sunday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the old table, the one that I made originally out, see if I can't jerry-rig it to work for this weekend. Because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's like right around the corner. And I've been sick. I, was, I bought this table like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's, uh, let's work on that, shall we? <coughs> what I guess what I'm going to have to do is run a support straight across. Now this side or this side? I think it's this side. That the Weevil Fester can sit on because he is the same width. Well, now hang on. If that was the front, oh, maybe he's not. Let's find out. Maybe we don't need to worry about it for this weekend. I still need to redo it. What I'm going to do when I make the new one, I'm going to cut it in a V fashion so it'll be narrower up where his head is and wider behind it. And that should work. But I think right now we need to fix his head and this, put the pad back in this table. So that's what we're going to do. That's one side. Alright, so this table is ready. Pour fluming, fluming on. Alright, we have returned to the back side of the Weevil Fester's head. And we need to ah, pull this out. And look at all the ways that this has come apart. It's squeaking a bit up at the handle, up in one corner. When this is moved, you can hear it right up here. I just don't like that noise, because it means something is not solid. I'm going to take a few moments to check this out. Give that a moment. Let me check this out. Ah! She is solid. Or he or it or whatever. Good job, weebs. I have curled a piece of like cardboard in his nose so it'll stand out. Alright, we're ready and action. Which way do we go? <laughs> which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? <laughs> now which way? Now which way? Now which way? Look, you still managed to pull the green screen. Be careful. Okay.
on a record of 40 minutes. Re Were you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Ready and action. Which way do we go now? How am I supposed to know? Do you just want to split up? Great, what could possibly go wrong? Well then choose. Okay. Flawless. Stay on your line. I mean on your, on your line. Stay on your mark. Stay on your line. Stay on your shoes. Stay on your cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we want to get the two of them. Okay. We're going to take this. <laughs> And we're gonna carefully wrap. Oh, sorry. We're <laughs> gonna carefully. I'm sensing some built-up aggression. <laughs> yeah, don't take it personally. Let me make sure this comes off. Is that gonna flick me, and then I have to like fall backwards and knock off the green screen? Not if no, you fall if, he, if he does it right. Good. All right. If not he sure does it right, I'm not supposed mm. to do anything. Yeah, you just yeah, stand you, there. Yeah, you actually do have to do something. <laughs> you have to act in reverse. So what? So oh. speak back. So I'd be like, what? Speak backwards. <laughs> yeah, but don't go black. You don't have to throw up in your hands, just, you'd be like, because what you, we're going to start so like, with you. You should get like, to eat something and then it'll be like, mm, so like cool. You're going to start uh, backed up a little bit. <coughs> okay, so you're going to come into the shot. And then he's going to jerk you back. And I'm going to put, no, oh. he's going to come into the shot. I'm going to pull this off you. Now when he comes into the shot, you have gone into reaction. So you're going to be like this. And then as I pull it off. Wait, Go doesn't he say I choose you first? You that's that gonna be that's so gonna I'm just be like this the entire time oh, okay. until it's there. off, and then I go like this. Yeah. Today's review for PSVR is for a game called Trickster VR, which is a uh, VR first-person dungeon crawler, and I'll tell you what, it's just fun. It's just plain fun. It's not deep. It's not, <laughs> it doesn't have a massive storyline. Basically, here you are, find stuff, go. Bad guys are coming after you, mostly orcs, pretty much all orcs. It's a fun game because it's, like I said, it's just, it's mindless running through the dungeons, or in this case, from one island to another island, um, fighting off waves of orcs trying to collect specific items that you have to bring back to your main base. Now there is some character development for you but the characters that you fight against in the game are pretty much one-dimensional. They're orcs. <coughs> However there are all kinds of different orcs. Not just size differences but some are mages, some are fighters hand-to-hand, -hand, some are archers. So and, and can, so forth and so on. And there are other things as well as just the uh, just yours, but those are the main issues right there. And they're um, pretty comical too. As a matter of fact, there are several references to other uh, classic uh, RPG games in this. And you'll spot them, especially if you are a big fan of Skyrim. You'll, you'll spot the, uh, the joke in there pretty quick. But it's a fun game, and uh, it does have some <coughs> advancements as far as your weapons are concerned. You start off with X, you look for Y, you continue on, you'll find all kinds of weapons. These things get stored in your base, but you can only take two of them with you when you go out on a mission. So you may find yourself with, oh, I got this awesome wiggle waggle swing in here, and I can just beat the daylights out of everybody and take my other thing and then my crossbow and my axe and my... No. You can carry two, and that's it. The comfort controls are pretty straightforward. Teleportation, 90 degree, or whatever degree you want to turn. And um, graphically, it's cartoony, but it is... I don't know, maybe it's just the aspect of VR that makes that cartoony feel like you're still really, you know, right there. It's, uh, it, it feels real in a non-real sort of way. Surreal, I guess, would be the word to use. Um, <clears throat> and um, as you develop your character, you can develop them as you wish if you want them to be strong in using swords, if you want to be strong in using crossbows or you know longbows or knives or whatever you can build them up that way so it's it's uh, got all of the all of the flavors of basically playing Diablo or Gauntlet or something like that in the virtual world. I give it a rollicking 8 out of 10 um, it's uh, like I say, it's fun, but it's not deep. Um, the graphics are awesome, but they're not real. 
obviously. Well, they weren't intended to be. It's just fun. It's just plain fun. So I recommend it. It's a fun game, as you may have guessed by how many times I said fun, which I normally don't say at all in the course of a normal day. So check it out. That's Trickster VR for the PS VR. Weeble Fester and I are pretty much done working on him and working on his table. He's feeling good. He's looking pretty good. He's good and solid. And because of how long it's been since the last shoot, I think it's going to be into this one. Um, we'll just uh, end it here, and next episode we'll have more exciting stuff. Sorry how this one was not all that exciting, but you did get some information on some things, and uh, you got to see some stuff and things and stuff. That's what it's all about, right? So um, next episode we'll have more going on. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great week. End of line. line.